Hi everyone, it's Gabby here. Thank you so much for clicking on this video and gabbing with me today. Listen, I want to talk about first things first with Christian dating. Now, most of us are out here with our faith extended for marriage. So that means we have to date a little, we have to show a little interest, we have to drop the handkerchief, go on a few dates, get in a relationship, and then we're on our way. So today I want to talk about that dating, I'm interested, am I interested, do I want a relationship process. I was reading the chapter of Matthew the other day and this scripture stood out to me so much so I want to share it with you. We can take it and use it in this season that we're in right now. Matthew chapter 7 verse 20 says, yes, just as you can identify a tree by its fruit, so you can identify people by their actions. Jesus actually says this and what I love about him is he starts off the chapter saying, we're not talking about judging people. We're not talking about looking at people as less than or waiting for people to mess up so we can say, oh, you're not really a Christian and oh, you're not really a man of God and oh, you're not really somebody I wanna date. But he encourages us just as we can tell what kind of tree a tree is based on the fruit growing from it so we can tell who and how people are based on how they behave. Wrapped up in how we act is how we behave, is our character, is our lifestyle, and is our choices. So who someone is is the most important thing when we're determining if this is somebody that we may want to date. During this quick, real quick, season we're in of dating relationships and getting to know people as we approach marriage we have to identify who they are have you guys seen that video i'll play it right here wait a minute who are you throughout our time of liking their instagram picture and sliding in their dms and asking our friends about them we should be asking ourselves this question wait a minute who are you really? Who someone really is, is who they are behind closed doors. Who they are when it seems like nobody is watching. And who they are at the spur of the moment. When they didn't have a lot of preparation time before reacting. Again, not looking for a perfect person, but looking for patterns of behavior and action. So how can we identify who they really are? Even if you're just friends with somebody, friends with them long enough, you will have a moment where you see them express some level of emotion. When they're showing anger, when they're showing disappointment, when they're showing difficulty, stress, when they're annoyed, how do they handle that? Not that one time where they just really reacted poorly, but how do they consistently show emotions? One of my favorites is how they handle boundaries. Communicate a real boundary and see how they react. They may have some questions and that's okay. They may want some clarity and that's okay, but it's not really okay for them to have a rebuttal or to try to convince you that it's not that serious. You can tell who and how they are by how they handle your boundaries. Another one of my favorites, we all know how they handle waiters and people that serve them, how they handle people that they might not be the biggest fan of, again, not one time where somebody bumps them and they get really upset, but how they genuinely and consistently handle people. Now there's so many ways you can identify who someone really is, but I'll just share one more. And that's if their words and their actions match up. Now that sounds obvious. If he's not a person of his word, then period. But sometimes people have everything perfectly to say, but they don't do that. So they talk about how God is number one and they love their word and they love their church and they love their pastor. When you're interested in dating and getting to know someone, it's okay to ask some questions. What about the word do you love? What's one of the biggest takeaways you took from service today? It's not a Q&A. We're not interrogating them. But I want to know that the characteristics that men of God display are the characteristics that you display. Not just what you say. In the same way we're looking at who they really are, we should be looking at who we really are. What areas in our lives can we improve on to match who we know God has called us to be? It's not only about determining their fruit, but it's about determining our own fruit as well. Asking ourselves those same questions. How do I handle my emotions? Am I respectful of his boundaries? Oh, do I brush him off as not that deep because he's a guy? But our journey 
in our relationship with God is about identifying who we really are and allowing God to mold us grow us and develop us into better people. I hope you enjoyed today's video. There's so much more on the topic of character and actions and behavior, but I wanted to just share a few today. Hey, I'm at 361 subscribers. The next goal is 400. So if you're not subscribed and you enjoy my videos, help me get to 400. We're almost there. The question is, wait a minute. Who are you? I'll see you in my next video.